Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. We are still working on our chest, but we are gonna use the dip bar to work your chest out. Now, when you do this, your hand placement and your feet matter. So there is no wrong or right way to do this exercise. There is a way though for me to put more emphasis on my chest instead of my triceps. So this is a great tricep builder, but it's also a great exercise for your chest. Now it's impossible to isolate one or the other in this exercise, so you're gonna feel it in both. So it's totally normal if you feel this in your arms and your shoulders while you're working it, even for your chest. But here's a good example where we have a bar that kind of flares out and how you could use this bar if you have one like this to your advantage to work more chest. Now, if I wanted more tricep work, I would bring my hands in really close. If I want more chest, I go wide. Well, why is that? Well, when I go wide, what that's going to do is it's going to flare the elbows out more naturally. So if you don't have a bar like this and you have just a standard straight dip bar, which are very common to find inside of gyms, then you can flare out your elbows yourself. So you'll see if I was doing this for my triceps, I would take my elbows and I would want them tucked in behind me. Now, because we're doing this with our chest, I'm gonna allow them to flare out. Now, me flaring them out incorporates more chest. If my elbows were dipped in, the chest still works, but more of my triceps take over the movement. So when you get the hand placement, I wanna go on, on this one, a wide grip, I wanna allow the elbows to flare. The next thing is talking about our feet. Now you see some people, they have their feet straight down. You have some people with their feet in front of them. You have some people with their legs kicked back behind them. This also could change on where I'm trying to feel the exercise. So if I'm trying to feel the exercise in my chest, I wanna be leaning forward a little bit and my feet behind me. The more my feet are underneath me or in front of me, the more I'm gonna shift my weight back into my triceps. So when I do this for my chest, the elbows are flared out. My feet are back behind me. I like to cross my legs and I let the elbows flare out and my chest is forward and then I press up. Now when I press up and come out of the dip, I don't wanna lock my joints out and put the stress on the joints. I want a slight bend keeping tension. So let's talk about depth and tempo when you guys are doing the dips. When you do a dip, this is a kind of an advanced exercise because Typically what will happen when people come down in the dip, they'll just let their body weight fall down. And you wanna be careful of that because if you don't have good range of motion or good mobility in your shoulder, what could happen is you stress your shoulders out and that can be really painful and really dangerous. It does not take a lot of pressure to pull that shoulder out of socket. And if you just let the body weight fall on, that's how you could injure your shoulder. So you wanna keep tension, you wanna be controlled, and you also wanna go down to what your range of motion is. And so since we're trying to work the chest here, I wanna go down until I feel a really good stretch on the chest, and that's it. Once I feel a good stretch on my chest, even if my body will allow me to go deeper into the dip, I don't wanna go any deeper because I don't wanna risk that pulling on my shoulder at all. I wanna keep it all the tension inside my chest. So a good tempo is about three to four seconds on your way down into the dip. At the bottom, I stay tense and tight, and then I press out of it. Should only take about one second. So that tempo will look like this. Good wide grip, elbows are flared out. I'm leaning forward. I'm coming down nice and slow and controlled. I feel a good stretch in my chest. Now I could go lower, but now that I'm lower, I can feel a lot in my shoulder. So I want to catch it right about there and then press out of it. Come down real slow and controlled. Good stretch on the chest right there. Even though I can go a little bit deeper, I feel a good stretch on the chest. Come out of it. Real slow and controlled. Good stretch on the chest. Come out of it. Listen, if you guys liked that video, it helped you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. If you had any questions regarding the video, just leave in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering your guys' comments. Also, if you guys want more information regarding on how to build a chest, we actually have a free guide that we created for you. Just click the link below.